Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Monday, October 26, 2020, and this is a follow up to my response to Homebrewed about the moon rotation and the image that he presented, which was taken by James Pickett from uh, Darwin. Uh, this photo was taken on July 5th, 2020. And uh, let's take a closer look at this image here and you can see the details there 12 26 a.m on july 5th 2020 from darwin australia and you've got the coordinates there you can see the the comment um, by james pickett who took the photo he says this was the night it rotated clockwise for me both directions in one week and john blow who is homebrewed uh, replies um, this is exactly my view of the moon in virginia but you took the picture uh, in Darwin, Australia. Now we can clearly see that Tycho is on the bottom of the moon here and for somebody in the southern hemisphere as a rule that would not be possible. Now when I made my first response video I didn't properly critique uh, where the moon was at the time um, but having since done some further checking on that it tells quite a different story. So let's have a look and see exactly where the moon was at 12.26am uh, on the 5th of July 2020. That's Darwin local time as seen from Darwin. Let's just scroll down there. You can see I've got location Darwin there. And here's all the details. I'll put a link in the description area. And you can see that the moon was um, overhead sort of central western Australia. Um, or just to the west of, of Central Australia um, and certainly below Darwin and this is the key point. So Darwin is, is up here and let me pull up a picture for you. So here is the same map and you can see that I've marked Darwin there. In fact let's bring it right up so we can have a good view of it. And there is Darwin which is uh, James Pickett's location. And this was the position of the moon when he took the photo. So he effectively had a northern hemisphere view of the moon, even though he's in the southern hemisphere. You can see this dotted line is, is the equator line, and uh, the moon happened to be below his location at this time. It's important to understand that the orbital plane of the, the moon is tilted to the ecliptic by 5.1 degrees. So sometimes it's going to be higher up, it's going to be in the north, and sometimes it's going to be lower down in the south, okay? It doesn't follow the equator line around the Earth. It would be really simple if it did, but that's not the case. Um, but because Darwin is so close to the equator, then in this case the moon was actually below his location, effectively giving him a northern hemisphere view of the moon. And as I've said before, uh, you would not see Tycho at the bottom of the moon from the southern hemisphere. But just to reiterate, even though Darwin is in fact in the southern hemisphere, the moon was actually below Darwin at the time, giving uh, James a northern hemisphere view in effect. You can see I've marked my position in Tauranga, New Zealand, and if I was looking at the moon at the same time, it would actually be up the other way with Tycho at the top particularly when, when the moon was, was above New Zealand over here. Okay, so Tycho would be at the top of the moon for me, whereas for uh, James and Darwin, Tycho was at the bottom of the moon. Okay, so what's going to happen on the next full moon? This is going to be really interesting for you catfish, and for James, and for uh, Homebrewed, and anybody else who actually wants to go and take out photos. And it's my challenge for everybody to go and do so. So this was the view that we were looking at, but what's going to happen on the 1st of November at the next full moon? Well, hello, the moon is actually now above the equator, above Darwin, there is Darwin right there, okay? And the moon is going to be above Darwin, and when James takes his photo at about the same time, and according to Moon Calc, the next full moon is at 19 minutes past midnight on 1st of November, Darwin time. And guess what, folks? Tycho will be at the top of the moon as seen from Darwin. It will be at the top of the moon as seen from New Zealand. It will be at the top of the moon from every location below the equator. 
at the next full moon on the 1st of November. And for people in the Northern Hemisphere, Tycho will be at the bottom of the moon, exactly as it should be. And yes, it will appear to rotate as it crosses the sky because of field rotation, which we have already well and truly covered in previous videos. Here is the moon calc data for the moon on uh, July 5th, 2020 at uh, 026 from Darwin Northern Territory. And again, you can see that it's showing the moon below Darwin and you can see the uh, altitude and azimuth data there. So azimuth, it was at 187 degrees. So James is looking south to look at the moon, okay? He's not looking north as if he's in the southern hemisphere looking at the moon in the north. But as I said, on the 1st of November at 19 minutes past midnight, Darwin local time, the moon is going to be well and truly to the north and Tycho Crater, as he sees it, will be at the top of the moon, not at the bottom. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? And once again, I have invited Eric to have a, a live, one-to-one, -one, respectful discussion where we uh, discuss each other's claims and counterclaims and all the rest of it. To do it respectfully without all the name-calling and lies. But unfortunately, Eric won't front up to me for such a live discussion, and you have to ask the, the question why. He seems to be scared of having such a discussion. I've got nothing to hide. The allegations that he has made against me are completely false. My conscience is clear, and uh, that's why I'm able to keep coming back and uh, defending myself. If you've got a good view of the moon on... 31st of October, 1st of November, 2nd of November, and you're able to take photos of it from your location, clearly showing the orientation of the moon, please do so, and uh, let's see what the evidence shows. Thank you for watching.